A new rideshare company is hitting the streets of Louisville, trying to compete with the big names like Lyft and Uber. Uh, Paulina Butska recruited some help from our team today and finds out if this rideshare company has the chops to make it on the streets of the Derby City. Today's challenge, who can get to Louisville International Airport first? Hello. Juliana took a lift. Brooke hopped on an Uber while I tested out the week old Ride Squatch Ride Share Company. So how far oh, is your right Uber there. ride? Oh, two minutes. Okay, two. So you got two minutes. I'm yeah. about three minutes and Paulina has uh, yours. Mine tells me to be patient. Continue for half a mile. While both ladies made it to the airport minutes of each other. So it looks like I'm the first one here. It was about a 15 minute ride. <gasps> oh, look at that. Hey, we both got here. Paulina's right. still at the station. She is. How are you? After ordering my car at 927, Good. my ride didn't show up until almost 1010. How are you today? I'm doing well. The ride you got. Joe Rigney, the founder of Ride Squatch, says the company still has things to work I out. I apologize about that. So, so, there was closer drivers to you. Well, actually, the app said that there were no drivers close to me. So that was one of the well, things the, that we had um, we had noticed. With 300 employees on the platform, Joe says only about 100 drivers are active at one time. How are you going to compete with drivers that are taking two, three minutes to get there? Um, in the beginning, it's going to be difficult, I'll be honest with you. He says as a former Lyft and Uber driver himself, he noticed a need for a change in the way rideshare companies operate. You know, that's why we require our drivers to go through CPR training, mm -hmm. early childhood development training. We want to make sure the vehicle is at a proper level and that the driver is somebody that we want representing us. Now Joe says the company is working to fix their problems but they are up and running and fully since their launch last Thursday. And he it was great that he talked about it, yeah. you know, there with our test, uh, which was a pretty interesting test to conduct here. And he also says their drivers go through a monthly background check to ensure passenger safety as well.